But at least you um, still made it to all your shows on like Chris D'Elia. I think he, he was canceling the show. He canceled the show this week? Yeah. Because of what? Because of snow. Oh, my God. God, dude, the rich, man. I'll tell you this. I will never be rich enough where I feel like I don't have to perform for my audience. You can always count on me. I don't care. Dude, I, have, I know six people that have been hit by lightning. Six real people. Four still alive. And if you don't think that I know that Mother Nature's looking for me, you don't just know that many people that have been hit by lightning unless Mother Nature's trying to track your ass down. That's like lightning going door to door fucking looking for you. And I know I'm next, but I still go out there every day and do my work. Unlike that, these fuckers. So, they, sorry, man. I didn't even get fired up. That shit makes me mad. I, I hear you. Oh, wait, I'll even play this. What was this clip somebody sent me? This is Crystal Lee and Bobby. What is this, Nick? Yeah, this is from a uh, recent Tiger Belly. It was on January 3rd. Chris uh, joined Bobby, the... Uh, Bobby you, Lee. Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. On and I'll tell you this about Bobby Lee, and I've said this to Bobby Lee before. And Bobby Lee's probably one of the top 70 or 80 Asian people, you know? And I've told Bobby, if he doesn't keep his shit together, I will take him on a tour of VFWs around the country and watch old men beat his ass, brother. <laughs> and you know that. What, what, go on, Nick. Yeah, Chris joined uh, Tiger Belly Podcast, and mm -hmm. kind of out of nowhere, your name came up. Okay, let's take let's hear that clip. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say <laughs> something else me. to you, and I want you I want to look in your eyes. Okay. okay. And that's Bobby. He sounds like a cat with like a little bit of emphysema. Not that there is one, but if there was ever a war between you and Theo Vaughn, yeah. <laughs> if there was ever a war, sure. You you have my assurance. Yeah. Ooh. That's the Slap Kingdom. Mm -hmm. my and they call him the Slep Kingdom because he sleeps 21 hours a day. <laughs> And um, obviously taking uh, advantage of his freedom here in America. Let's hear more. My people, the mm -hmm. papayas, mm -hmm. will back you. Uh, I like mm. that. You're the king of the north. That's very mm. cool. You're oh. the king of the north. Yeah, the king of the north couldn't land in St. Louis. Absolutely unbelievable. King of the north can't even get to the Midwest. And my clan and my, my people. Clan, did you hear that? I don't use that kind of terminology. Onward. Mm -hmm. Are on your team. Thank you. Fuck the Rat King. Alas, Ooh, I love him what? as a person. Yeah, right. I love him as a Rat King. But right? he's the guy who gets his dick cut off in the Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 And that's where they all laugh at someone else that's not in the room. <laughs> so, pretty crazy, man. It's just tough, you know. It's 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 shit's getting real in these podcast streets. And I'll say this, Bobby. Whenever you pass away of some, you know, disease because you. Obviously, have something. If you're sleeping 23 hours a day, bro, after that, you're asleep 24 hours a day. That's dead. So, you're 60 minutes away from needing someone to take care of your beautiful girlfriend, brother. And don't you worry about it. Uh, I will make sure that, uh, I know you've been making sure she stays asleep. I'll make sure she stays awake, brother. Love you guys, man. 